everyone, it's Tammy, and I have a package here from a store on Etsy that I ordered from, and I thought that I would show you. It is called Cupcake Tree, and she makes rubber stamps. And I thought that these would be fun to have. So let's see, I haven't even tried it yet. But this, and I haven't even really opened it. I just opened it to see what in the world it was. So let's see, this is cupcaketree.etsy.com. Thank you for your purchase. Some tips for using your new self-inking stamp. Make sure your paper is flat. Use both hands to hold the top portion and press evenly and firmly. Hold it in place for a few seconds. And then it has contact her for information. So this is really cute. Um, comes in its own little box. And this says the Thompson family and has my address on it, which is probably not super smart that I show you. But let's go ahead and stamp the back side of this. And then I will try to cover this up. Yes, it stamps very, very well, very nicely. And I think that you guys will like it. And how cool that it's self-inking. It's very nice. And then I have a little thing on the bottom. And here's where it says Fishers, Indiana. So that's really cute. Now this is, the ink is kind of smearing because this is a glossier thing. So it will smear, but it doesn't smear poorly, badly. And it didn't last very long to be, um, I mean, it didn't smear for very long, even on this cardstock or like it's, it's, it's not matte. It has a coating on it. So very cool. Very cool. And then let's see what else do I have in here? I am very happy with that purchase. I have, there might be some things that I can't show you because they might be Christmas, but this is a little stamp and it says with love and it looks like a little stamp. That's really cute. They just gave that to me. That was just an extra. And this is one that you would use you know it's a rubber stamp so you would use an ink pad with it but I thought that the self inker was really cool I haven't had one of those in a long time and I thought it would be neat to use one and then let's see here she gave me some llama stickers that's cute <laughs> really cute and so there are a couple presents in here so I will show you what I can the first one that I can definitely show you is a little one that looks like knitting needles and it has my name on it. And so I thought if I was giving a gift, I could stamp the knitting needles. Can't show you that one. I can show you these two. So this one is for my daughter and I think I am gonna put this in her stocking, but it says Miss Layton. And it's an apple because she is a teacher and she's a student teacher right now. Actually, I don't know if I'll put it in her stocking. I think I'll send this to her in a fall care package, maybe with some caramel apples or something. That would be really cute because uh, she needs to be able to use this while she's student teaching. So that's really cute. And then, oh my goodness, this is a cute one. It says Tammy and has a hedgehog holding a heart. Now I have a, a cute hedgehog that um, one of my friends gave me from YouTube and it's a cute little stamp too. So I, I don't know, you can't have enough. You know me and stamps, I have a million of them and I love them. So let me stamp a couple of these and let me show you what they look like. I'm just gonna use my own ink. Let me take out a piece of scrap paper. Here is the hedgehog. Oh, it's cute. And the knitting needles. Oh my goodness. They stamp very nicely. And the with love stamp. So there you go. So thanks for watching guys. I hope that you guys like this and I hope that you try um, check her store out. Again, it is cupcaketree.etsy.com and thanks for watching and you can get a self inker too if you'd like oh and you can lock it so then it won't push down maybe <laughs> or maybe it will still push down I don't know yeah it still works even though it's locked I don't get it oh it unlocked well that's crazy let's see here well maybe it just 
don't know what the lock is for if it doesn't work. I think it's supposed to lock, but it doesn't work. So the lock portion doesn't work. Unless maybe you push it up and then lock it. Oh, I guess you could do it that way. You could push it up and then lock it. And then just be sure to clean it off. Okay, maybe that's how it's supposed to work. And then actually it's a little shorter that way anyway. Easier to store. So yeah. I'm just trying to cover up my address, but that is that. So thanks for watching, and again, check out the store. Bye-bye.